People with type 1 diabetes can expect to live at least 10 years less than those without the disease. But tonight, Channel 2 anchor Lauren Freeman introduces us to a man who lived longer than expected and is telling others how they can do it too. 85-year-old Don Ray can't remember a life without diabetes. As a child, Don could not go to gym class. He couldn't play sports. He couldn't even play hide and seek. Because if you were to hide and they can't find you and you have an insulin reaction or a hypoglycemia, you might really be in trouble because they will never find you. He was told he wouldn't live past his 30s, but eventually he got tired of hearing, you can't. I would go to gym class when I started school, kindergarten, first grade, and I'd sit in the chair in gym class and I'd watch these kids, and I knew I could do this because I just knew I could do this. Don and his dad started playing catch, and that turned into 20 years of playing football and 30 years of baseball. And he did it because... He followed the rules. What rules? First, make sure your blood sugar is in check, between 80 and 130. If it's too low, eat some carbs, but don't forget to check while working out. If they are going to exercise for an hour, they have to check it in 30 minutes again to make sure they are still in the safe zone. But don't take too much insulin before your meal or before your workout. So if you are going to exercise after lunch, for lunch, you take less insulin so that it's safer for you. And if you're working out after dinner, be careful as well. You don't want an overnight complication. If you take care of the disease, disease will take care of you. I don't believe that there's nothing a diabetic, diabetic person can not do. Nowadays, there are nearly 140,000 people diagnosed with diabetes each year in the U.S. alone. But in 30 years, an expected 5 million Americans will be diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Don retired at the age of 70, but still helps out Santa Claus during the holidays. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News.